Hi students, a very warm and pleasant greetings to you all. I am Janisha Imansi. Hope you remember me. I am going to handle computer application for you in this grade 12. I will make the class interesting as much as I can. Okay. Then let's move on to our subject. Our subject is computer application. Right. What is meant by application? Application means use. Where it is used. We are going to learn the applications of computer in this whole year. Okay. Apart from computer science, this is little different that we are going to know the applications of computer. Okay. By the end of the year, you are not only just going to score a good mark in computer, I am sure you will be an expert in computer application. Okay. Let's move on to our first chapter. Our first chapter is multimedia and desktop publishing okay multimedia and desktop publishing the main thing here is multimedia what is multimedia from the word itself you can understand multi multi means many more than one okay multimedia media is communication channel okay this is a media right i am teaching and you are listening through youtube this is a media so media, the expansion of media is given as to connect the people in different places. Okay. What are the medias you know? Newspaper, TV, radio. And what are the medias you have in your mobile phones? WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. These are all medias, right? You are getting to know something from one end. That is also a media and you are getting connected with other people, right? That is also media, okay? Newspaper, newspaper means we have text and pictures. Newspaper is a text media, okay? Television, what do you see in the television? We see some videos or we read some news there, okay? It is a video media, right? In radio, we hear something. We hear someone's voice or we hear a music or we hear a sound. So it is a sound media, right? And what are the other medias? WhatsApp, Facebook. These are used to connect people, right? This is a social media. Television, newspaper, radio. These are all mass medias, okay? Now let's see what are the different forms of media. The first one, what is the first one? First one is a text media, right? First we learned text. Then what did we do? We started drawing, right? We saw something and we just drew it. So the second form of media is graphics, okay? It may have pictures or images. Then the next thing what we did, we hear something, right? Sound. Next one is sound media. Then the next one, we combined the graphics and sound. So what do we get? A video. We started capturing video or we started combining the graphics and sound. So the next form of media is video. Okay. Then the next one in the advanced techniques, we started creating cartoons or something resembling to us, to something like human, something like animals, something like birds. What is it? It is an animation. So animation is the next type of media okay we have seen the introduction of multimedia now let's go deep inside multimedia and let's learn the definition integration of many types of media like what all we have learned text graphics images audio video animation on a single medium in the same information unit this is the definition for what multimedia okay integration of many types of media like text graphics images audio video animation on a single medium in the same information unit now let's see the components of multimedia multimedia has five major components right as we have seen text images sound video and animation here they have given it in two forms dynamic elements and static elements text and graphics will come under static elements 
and video, audio and animation will come under dynamic elements. Okay, what is meant by static? What is meant by static? Static in the sense unchangeable or stable. Okay, it will not change. If we have a text or a graphics, it is as such. If you write your name here, it is not going to change until and unless you rub it and write it again. So text and graphics also likewise. If you draw or if you have an image in it, it is not going to change until and unless you change it by yourself, right? So these are static elements. Dynamic means we'll have change. Sound, sound will be varying, right? Video, the thing you see also video will be moving and we'll have some changes. So it is dynamic elements, audio, video and animation are dynamic elements and text and graphics are static elements. Okay. Next, we are going to see the first component briefly. What is the first component of multimedia? First one is text component. Okay. Text component is the basic component. Here we have two types static text and hypertext static text in the sense static text means a normal text a headline or something you see in the book or anything hypertext means it is a link you would have seen now to see this video someone would have shared your link it will be written in blue color with the underlined right that is a hypertext when you see in this page also we have some notes we will say it is Notes also, network of notes. These links will lead you to another page. Okay, this hypertext consists of notes. See, in this page, we have a node here. If you click this word, it will lead you to another page. Okay, a node is a collection of a data organized around a specific topic. Okay, node is linked to another node forming a network. Sometimes, um, if you click this link, Link means this word. This word is a node. It is a hypertext. Okay. If you click this, it will lead you to another page. In that page, if you have any nodes, if you click on that, it will again lead you to another page. So, it forms a network, right? Network of nodes. This is the hypertext. Node is a fundamental unit of hypertext. Understood? This, is, this one is a node. The link which leads to another page is a node understood the difference between hypertext and static text static as if i said before static means unchangeable it is stable if you write jenny here means that jenny that name that's all that is a static text if you link uh, some or some of my facebook or some accounts to this name it will be displayed in blue color with the underline and it becomes a hypertext. Understood the difference between static and hypertext? Now we are going to see about images. Okay. What is image? When you take a picture, we get an image or when we draw something, we get an image. Right? Image is the basic component of multimedia we have two types of images first one is bitmap images or raster images next one vector images first let's see the bitmap images here we have an image right when i zoom it out we'll be able to find pixels there Let's see what is pixels. Now I am zooming this image and can you find small square boxes there? I will just cut a portion of it and I will show you. Now a small portion of it has been taken here and we are going to give Numbers for each column and rows. This portion has been separated from that large image, right? When we zoom it out, we get these small squares 
and we are giving the columns and rows the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 likewise we are giving the numbers for the columns and rows so this is called simple matrix okay this each square box is a pixel pixel means picture plus element pix pix is picture and el denotes element okay pixel is the smallest single component of a digital image you will have known it the pixel when you open paint also you can see the pixel value will be given in the bottom corner so what is bitmap image an image is made up using a collection of pixels referred as bitmap it is a simple matrix of pixels as we saw there it is a simple matrix of tiny dots called pixels that form a bitmap image so you have an idea of bitmap right why is it called a bitmap we can call it as a pixel itself right why is it called a bitmap here in each square if you see we will have two or more colors defined in it okay each pixel one square is called one pixel right so here in a bitmap image each pixel one square will have more colors so each pixel we can denote it with a bit okay bit means what zero and one are bits we have learned it in grade 11 itself bit means zero or one if you enlarge one pixel from this image we can see a darker and lighter shade in a single small square box in that single pixel itself right so this is a mapping of bit right so this is known as bit map the length of the string of bits determines the color depth of the image okay if there is only two colors it will be denoted as 0 1 or 1 0 if there is more than four colors it will be denoted with more than four or six or some bits right if it has eight bits then it shows 256 colors on it i am just saying it for an example one bit two colors four bits means 16 colors eight bits means 256 colors so it is called mapping of bits right so bitmap is a simple matrix of a tiny dots called pixels that forms a raster or bitmap image okay each pixel has two or more colors we know that and let's see what are vector images vector image is a drawing elements or objects what do we draw we draw lines circles triangles squares these are all vector images okay these vector images will be clear their clarity will be so nice even if we enlarge the videos we'll have the same clarity as if we have seen in the smaller photos but at the same time when we see the bitmap images if we zoom the image the clarity will be lost we will see only the pixels there okay this is the difference between vector and bitmap image and this vector image also occupies very less space in memory compression techniques are used to reduce the file size of the image so that it will be useful to store a large number of images and also it will help us to speed up the transmission process okay this compression format are used for uh, gif tiff jpeg this and all you would have heard this bitmap images will be of uh, jpeg gif png in these formats but this vector images will be we will have seen uh, pdf right this pdf and all will come under this vector images 
The next one is animation. We all like animations, right? This animation, what is meant by animation? We have an image, we are going to convert the image into a video, that is animation, okay? We have an image of a boy and we have to create an impression as if he is running from left to right. This we can do by animation, okay? Let's see the definition of animation. Animation is the process displaying still images so quickly so that they will give the impression of continuous movements. And next is dimensions. Dimensions in the sense, dimensions means the way we see it. We have 2D and 3D animations. 2D means two dimensions. We have only X and Y. Okay, X and Y means we'll consider only the height and width as X and Y. Okay, the dimension, the dimension itself is the way we see or the way we measure or experience that is the dimensions okay 2d the two dimension is height and width three dimension means we'll have x y and z axis we'll have three axis okay the x y and z axis we'll say it as height width and thickness we can you can just see this picture and you can identify the difference between 2D image and a 3D image. 2D image is, a, is also an image but, but we can't see the thickness in that image. We can see the height and width alone. But in the 3D image, we can see a live image as if we are seeing ourselves in a mirror. In animation, we have two different types of animations. First one is path animation and the second one is frame animation. Okay, path animation in the sense, we'll have a background. Now this is the background for me, right? This is a background and I am moving. So this is a path animation. Frame animation means full in this full frame, we will be keeping different objects and we will be moving. That is frame animation. I'll give you an example. When you see this, you can just uh, get an idea about this path animation and frame animation. Here is a background image, right? Here is a background image and this element, this element, we are setting a path for this element here and this element is moving from left to right. So, here the background is static and the element moves. So, here this is path animation okay then the next one is frame animation frame animation means many frames will be set and it will be displayed quickly so that it gives a continuous moving impression this definition you would have heard when i started this animation session itself so in this what we are going to do is in this full frame we will be keeping different different elements and we will be giving a quick transition between those elements and we'll get a frame animation here okay frame animation the definition of frame animation is multiple objects are allowed to travel simultaneously and the background or the object also changes in the path animation if you see the background will be static and just the element moves here in frame animation multiple objects are allowed to travel at the same time that is simultaneously and the object and as well as the background will be moving so that it creates a animation effect it will be more effective than the path animations are you clear next one is sound sound means now i am speaking and you are hearing right this is a sound so when someone is speaking we are hearing a sound the music when you put the put anything down you will hear a sound effect that also comes under sound this is measured in s l m s l m means sound level meter the sound is measured using s l m okay and the measuring unit of the sound is decibels a uh, normal human can hear from 60 to 120 decibels okay a normal human hears 60 to 120 decibels 
if the volume is less than 60 decibels then we'll be hearing when you are in class sometimes you used to talk right like this this sound is less than 60 and some sound will be feeling irritated uh, what is the sound that will be more than 120 decibels okay uh, when you see in animals elephants can hear even in zero decibels and dolphins can hear high decibels also they have the capability which humans we humans doesn't have okay then next one uh, we'll go deep into the sound media okay sound media uh, m-i-d-i this is a electronic composing material connected to the computer if you are having any electronic instrument uh, which plays music we can connect it to the computer using this m-i-d-i okay this m-i-d-i is musical instrument digital identifier okay this is a standard communication tools which is developed for computers and electronic instruments when you play a music in an instrument with this m-i-d-i we can compose music next one is digital audio we have two types analog and digital when uh, when someone is talking to you it is analog but now i am talking to you and you are hearing it but this is not an analog audio this is a digital audio because i have uploaded this video in a device and whenever you upload some videos in a device it suddenly it samples the video or audio and it will convert the analog signals to digital signals and so this voice has become a digital audio once it is connected to the computer or your mobiles or something when you record your voice in the mobile it converts to digital audio other than that if you talk to someone who is near you then that audio is analog audio the sound which you hear in the computer will be digital as i said to you before when we talk the audio is captured in the mic right the audio is captured in the mic and the computer is having a chip to convert the analog to digital signals right and the analog signals will be converted to digital signal and the process is known as sampling this is done by a chip in computer have you got an idea about the analog and digital audios now we are going to see video media okay video means what displaying a recorded event now you are sitting in a chair or a bed or something and watching this that is just happening there if you take a mobile or dslr or camera somewhere something and you capture it it becomes a video right visual capturing with sound is called video it is a powerful element to convey a information in older days if you see in older movies and all it will be in tapes in a tape it will have each print as i said each frames will be in the tape and when it is uh, when a light is given to that tape it will be displayed in the screen and now we sample it and you will uh, get it in a device like a chip or pen drive or cd or dvd very easily accessible right so now we have digitalized the videography also these are the components of media okay next we are going to see the file formats next we are going to see file formats okay here we have two file formats for text rich text format and plain text okay this text files have rich text format that is rtf and plain text format i'll show you an example for that just when you open the notepad you will get the you will get this window right in this window if you type something yes now we have typed this much now i am selecting this single word and giving a style i am changing the font here font or uh, size or style or anything i am changing it 
But what happens is the whole sentence will be displayed in that particular style. We can't give a specific style to a specific word. Okay. So this is a text editor, not notepad, wordpad. This and all are text editors. Here we type a sentence. It cannot be formatted. Only the text can be changed. That is, it is plain text. Okay. The RTF, the rich text format means when you open a word processor, word processor in the sense MS Word, Open Office, or some word processor. What you can do if you sell, if you write a sentence or a paragraph, you can select a particular text and you can give styles. Uh, you can change the font, you can make it italics, it, uh, you can uh, make it bold, you can um, underline it, anything you can do, right? Only that specific word can be changed as per our wish. This can be done in word processor only and this is RTF. What is RTF? Rich text format okay this is introduced in 1987 by microsoft okay this rtf is introduced in 1987 by microsoft next we are going to see the file format for uh, first what we saw we saw the file format for text right now we are going to see the file format of images okay image if images we have TIFF -F, that is tagged image file format. Next one is BMP. This one we have seen already bitmap image. Okay. BMP. Next one is DIP that is device independent bitmap. Next one GIF. As if we all know, a small uh, graphics will be given in the image that is graphical interchange format that is GIF. Then next one, JPEG. JPEG means Joint Photographic Expert Group. Next one is TGA. In the book, they have given Tagra, but the correct expansion of TGA is True Vision Graphics Adapter. Okay. And uh, next one is PNG, Portable Network Graphics. We will see this uh, in detail. First one is TIFF, Tagged Image File Format. This file format is common for desktop publishing world because this is a high quality output. This gives us high quality output. Even the image is compressed, we'll have large files. Okay. And the format is comfortable for moving large files between uh, two or three computers. Understood? So this TIFF, tagged image file format is a high quality output and it allows the imp image compression and the format is comfortable for moving the large files between other computers okay next one is bmp bitmap here it is a quite large and uncompressed one okay bitmap is quite large and uncompressed so it is used for high resolution or for a large image bitmap as if we know bitmap means we have a large image and when we zoom it out we'll, we'll uh, get the pixels right so it is a high resolution or large image for large images we use this format we'll save it in bmp okay next one is dib device independent bitmap this TIB is similar to bitmap. This format is similar to bitmap because it allows us to display the files in a variety of devices. Okay. Next one is GIF. It is graphics interchange format. It is a compressed image format. Graphical image format means, you know, when you search an image on Google, we'll get GIF. If you download it, uh, maximum we won't get a good quality image right so this compressed image format is a gif okay most of the computer color and backgrounds are gif files only this format is supported widely because um, in this format we have we use only limited colors this is used for online color photos if you see some photos online we are not going to use that we'll just see that for that 
Just a limited colors is enough for so this is supported widely. Next one is JPEG. JPEG means it is designed to attain the maximum image compression. Now nowadays if you see when you take a pic in a DSLR or a camera it will maximum if you copy it in a system will convert it to JPEG right. This is the most commonly used uh, file format okay for uh, taking photos and for everything we use this JPEG format it works good with photographs naturalistic it gives a naturalistic artworks or um, it uh, for materials for everything for it for a cartoon or a live drawings for everything this gives the maximum image compression and uh, it gives a good look this is a good one so we prefer this JPEG for all our uses also okay next one is TGA this is the first popular format for high resolution images this is supported by most of the video capturing boards there's those uh, uh, now we have so many boards right for uh, film making and everything previously in the ancient days for video capturing boards have supported this TGA since it is a first popular format for high resolution images Next one is PNG. PNG you all know. JPEG means we'll have a background and we'll have a frame. But PNG means you won't have a frame. The background will be transparent. Just the image will be seen. I'll just, uh, this is a PNG image. Okay, this is a PNG image. You can see the difference between the JPEG image and the PNG image. This is the same image. But in JPEG, we'll have a background, either white or black or anything. And this PNG image will have a transparent background for video, uh, uh, photo editing and all. Mostly, we'll use this PNG image so that it gives a lively look as if uh, in the photo editing center you would have seen someone will be standing with the open hand and uh, we can keep some any png image if you need to keep a, a box or a gift box in their hand we can take a png gift box and just paste it in there in the place of their hand right so this png helps to make uh, animations and uh, to for many editings this png helps us Next one is digital audio file formats. In audio file formats, if you see, first one is WAV. Waveform audio file format. This is a uncompressed, this is used for storing the uncompressed file formats. Okay, next one is MP3. MP3 means what? Moving Picture Exports Group, which was found in 1991. They have... Um, added so many features and they have published so many versions as if we have now we have software updates right likewise this moving picture experts group have created this mp3 uh, since this mp3 is used for audio we use this format for storing and downloading music when you download something from net also mostly you will use this mp3 format Next one is OGG. OGG is a free open source container format and this is uh, good for designing better streaming because it has a uh, good quality. It gives you good quality when compared to mp3 or uh, other file formats. So this OGG has a good quality audio file format. Okay. Next one is AIFF audio interchange file format it is a standard audio file format which is used by apple in mac devices and all uh, if you um, record audio or if you download something it will be uh, defaultly it will be set as aiff audio interchange file format only okay next one is wma wma is windows media audio it is a popular windows media audio format which is owned by microsoft okay this wma was owned by microsoft in your uh, books you can just underline the key uh, words in this paragraph and all you can just underline uh, microsoft and uh, which is uh, it is designed by the 
digital right management digital right management drm if you underline these lines now it will be useful when you are uh, preparing for your final exam so that you don't have to read the whole paragraph you can just uh, see the uh, words which is underlined and you can uh, remind the things which is in that whole paragraph okay okay first you listen this and next after after this class you just take your books read it and you'll remember the points which i said right those important words alone you underline with pencil okay then the next one next one is real audio format real audio format is designed for streaming audio over the internet okay uh, usually we'll uh, use the cds and ecd dvd hard drives and uh, some other things for storing in a computer or a mobile or something right but to send it over internet we use this real audio format okay these are the file formats of digital audio okay wav mp3 ogg aiff wma ra these are the file formats of digital audio next we are going to see the file formats of digital video okay the digital video file formats are avi av means what audio video interface or interleave next one is mpeg this one we have seen in digital audio also mpeg means moving picture experts group okay these two are the popular digital video file formats okay avi avi is the video file format for windows here the sound and picture elements are stored in alternative interleaved chunks in the file so the audio and uh, picture file the audio file and the video file both will be saved in different different files so this is known as avi audio video interleave okay in this mpeg it is a standard for generating digital video and audio compression okay uh, you have uh, heard about iso international standard organizations they have introduced this audio and video compression method okay for digital usage here um, as i have said Uh, before here we have mpeg 1 mpeg 2 mpeg 3 mpeg 4 like that mp3 means that is for uh, audio mp4 means that is for video okay this mpeg groups only this mp3 mp4 everything are from mpeg that is moving picture experts group okay in your book they have given the group this uh, mpeg groups each version and the standardized uh, use of that version just go through it the mpeg 1 is for video cd and mp3 based okay and the mpeg 2 is the standard which supports for this digital television that is set top box and dvd then mpeg 4 that standard is for multimedia mobile web etc then mpeg 7 that standard is for searching the audio and the visual contents when you search you used to search it in the web right for that they use the standard mpeg 7 and the research is done on mpeg 21 which is started in 2000 okay the multimedia framework this research is done on mpeg 21 in the year 2000 This MPEG is the standards for digital video and audio compression. That's all about this file format. We have seen the audio file format, video file format, image file format, and text file format. We'll just revise it once. Text file format are rich text format and plain text format. Image means image file formats, TIFF, BMP. dip gif jpeg tga and png next one is audio file formats what is the digital audio file formats we have seen wav wav mp3 ogg aiff wma ra that is real audio format windows media audio audio interchange file format ogg moving picture experts group that is mp3 and waveform audio file format then at last we have seen 
Digital Video File Format that is AVI Audio Video Interleave MPEG Moving Picture Experts Group These are all about the file formats. Next we are going to move to Multimedia Production. Okay. Now we will see the Multimedia Production. The steps in Multimedia Production. Okay. The first step is Conceptual Analysis and Planning. The first one is conceptual analysis and planning. Next one is project design. Next is pre-production. First you have to plan. Then we have to need, we will need a design, right? Then pre-production. Next one is budgeting. Then multimedia production team. Then hardware or software selection. Defining the content. Preparing the structure. Production, testing, documentation, delivering the multimedia product. Okay. We will see the brief explanation of the steps in multimedia production in the next session. Okay. That's all for today. Hope you have got some ideas on multimedia. Just read the chapter before attending my next class. And thank you for your valuable time. Stay home, stay safe, take care, bye.